Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and this is an update video to my uh, previous video about my vlogging setup which is made up of the Sony RX100 and the Zenyu Tech Crane M Gimbal. This has been a fantastic combination for me. Uh, I absolutely love it. It creates amazingly smooth and stable video and it's small enough that I can take it with me anywhere versus taking the the big gimbal and the big Sony. This is a take anywhere setup that I absolutely love. And so far it has won me two video contests, $1,500 in prize money. And you know, this setup is about $1,800. So I almost made my money back. But uh, this is an update on the way, uh, how I mount this system. Uh, I got a, a comment from a viewer who said that this doesn't work for his RX100 because of the, well, I'll get the best of it is to show you. Because the, um, the Sony's tripod mount is not centered on the camera, it is off to the side, I cannot move the camera close to this motor. And so this, this is actually the, see this is the range of movement here. So that up from here on the extreme end, and that's the closest I can get because of offset, it, offset tripod mount. And because of this, in order to balance the, uh, the gimbal, in order to balance the gimbal, I have, to, I have to move this thing out to get it balanced. And because of that, it, it hits. It hits that here and hits that and it hits here. So therefore I can't swing it upside down. I mean, to, and I can't swing it. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do a, a quick flip to film upside down mode. Uh, I, I can, but then I have to, uh, well, it's it's a little more difficult. Like, let's see, I think you have to man kind of maneuver it into it like, like so, there you go. No, that's still not it. Yeah, see, I gotta, yeah, there you go. So I gotta go like, if I wanna go into like low mode to film low, I have to basically turn the camera off and try to maneuver it into place. And that's kind of, that, uh, yeah, okay. So let's put it back, right, let's put it back. But anyway, I found a solution to this and I want to share it with you. Now, uh, the, the other way was two solutions actually. One doesn't work very well. The one solution is basically to remove the camera and instead of mounting it with the motor on the prop, right on this side, you would mount it with the, with the motor on, on this side. And then that will allow you to put it right next to it like that. So you could do that. And then you could balance it then what you cost you uh, you move that and then you could then it balances and you just rebalance it and now it balances and now you got that now the problem with this setup is that it 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 doesn't work you know, like not very well if you do it this way the, this control dial that moves the camera up and down no longer works no longer works and I don't think and you can't do this on the fly. Uh, it, I mean, you can't do it. Uh, you can't do it while the motor is on. You can't do a flip like that. It, it, it ends up with the camera going facing backward, and then doesn't work. So, I did find a much better solution, and it only costs around twenty-eight dollars or so. So here's how I did it, and with the motor in the correct place. So, what I did was, uh, I used this. This is the, uh, it's, uh, it's basically, it's a little metal grip that I got from uh, a vendor in China, mainland China, or you can also find it on Amazon as well. It's, uh, it's a metal grip for the RX100. And what it does is basically, it, it provides a, a better hand grip. It screws onto the, uh, the tripod hole here. Like so, so let me screw it on. using a hand screw here. So there you go, all right. So that screws on and it adds a nice little grip holder for the RX100. And actually, it, even by itself, it's actually pretty useful. I kind of like it because it allows me to get a more, a better hold on the camera. So when taking pictures and stuff, that's great. But here's why I, here's the key, the reason I bought it. This screws, 
the grip screws onto the tripod mount of the camera, but you actually don't lose a tripod mount. The grip actually includes a tripod hole. And you notice that the tripod hole has been moved now more to the center of the camera instead of to the side. So using this grip tripod hole, I can now mount this thing much, much closer. So, oh, by the way, uh, because the hole doesn't go all the that doesn't go as deep as the camera and this screw is pretty long you will have to in order to make it mount correctly you will need a, a washer so i went to home depot and got this uh, quarter inch wash washer it's 11 cents <laughs> i probably spent more than that in energy costs just to get to home depot to buy this 11 cent washer but yeah you will need that otherwise it it won't screw down tight so you get you get the washer you get the grip and then uh you mount it onto the grip tripod hole. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this side. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's. And you screw that in there. Now I can, uh, what I can do now, I can mount it right close to the motor on the correct side. And I can screw it down like so. There you go. And now it's right next to the motor. And because not all the way out here, I can now balance it. Now when, now when it's balanced, let me turn it on. See, okay, it's a little heavy here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna balance it by moving this a little bit there. Okay, now it's balanced. Yep. I move just one millimeter more. Now it's balanced. There you go. But you notice that because it's so close to the motor now, now it clears 360. Now I can do a reverse. So let me turn this on and show it to you guys here. Turn it on. Okay. Uh, let me move this tripod here. Right. So now it's perfectly balanced. Camera is right next to the motor, and this these can this control still works. So I can make it go up, and it can go. It can do the full well. It can do the full turn. It doesn't hit anything. Go back down. Yeah. So now these controls work, and uh, yep, looks awesome. And if I want to do like a low down bird worm's eye view, like I can now because it now it works, see? Look at that. Look at that. So now I can like do low, low to the ground kind of shot. And I can go back on the fly to the regular mode. And yeah, before I couldn't do it, but thanks to this grip, now I can. And it works great. The other, uh, the other benefit of, uh, of using this grip is when it comes to pack, putting it away. See, now that since this thing no longer touches, I can just lay that into my laptop bag and it fits. Before, I would have to, you know, move this upward and to make it fit. But then when I use it again, I gotta rebalance it. Now I don't have to rebalance because it's perfect. Right now it's perfectly balanced. I put it in when I need it, take it out, turn it on, and I'm ready to, I'm ready to shoot. All right. So this, uh, this metal grip, it's available from, uh, I got it from AliExpress, which is a, which is a, a website owned by Alibaba. And it's from a China, vendor in China. It took about two weeks to get here. It's also available in eBay as well, and same thing, the same vendors in China. So the, uh, there was a seller selling this thing on Amazon, but it's no longer on Amazon, but that, that will probably take two weeks as well, because that's from China as well. Anyway, uh, if you want it, I believe I got paid $27 for this, so $27, $27 cents for the washer, so uh, 20, $28, and now I got pretty much a nice, tight, perfect, vlogging setup right so if, if you have an rx100 and you have a crane am and you don't want to create a custom mounting bracket to get this right next to the motor this uh this metal grip it's the way to do it yeah as you go 
and for twenty eight dollars and eleven cent washer, really, I mean, I think you can't lose. You can't lose. But anyway, that's uh, that's my little update on my vlogging rig. If you, uh, I hope, well, like I said, if 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 you got this set up, you should definitely add the grip. And even if you don't have the Crane M, the grip actually, it, it, it's, it's cool. I, I like it. I like the grip by itself. Even when I'm not, when I'm not using it with the, with the Crane, I'm, I keep the grip on. So, all right. I uh, hope that helps you guys. Uh, welcome your feedback. Welcome your comments. Uh, leave it in the comments below. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.